From the depths of the void and interesting creatures of the Bandle City Forest, we bring to you Kogma and Lulu in this episode of Botline Synergy. Ashley and TJ here, and we will be your hosts guiding you through this epic journey and understanding the strengths and weaknesses of this interesting combo. As far as lore goes, these two champions probably possess the worst synergy, but when it comes to gameplay, the two complement each other unlike no other. Lulu is able to protect Kogma even in the slimiest of situations, providing him immense amounts of peel and defensive abilities. She is able to slow targets, chasing down Kogma while polymorphing any imminent threats. Kogma is able to use Lulu's shield passive to outrange and outpoke every lane matchup. When maxing W first, it even allows you to outrange Kaylin and Tristana in lane. And not only does this late game possess a lot of harassability, but a late game potential of Kogma and Lulu's abilities to keep him alive during team fights makes him one hard to deal with AD carry. The recent changes to Kogma's Q have made him quite the viable pick. He is able to gain max range and 28% armor and magic resist shred at level 12. This is where we hand it off to the Ashenator to get a visual idea of where these two compare to other lanes. Really? The Ashenator? For the lane's overall kill potential, they receive a 2. With literally no engage abilities, this lane relies on a lot of slows and pokes to wither down their enemies, forcing them out of lane. For sustain, they receive a 4. The shield from Lulu can help mitigate some damage, but without early life steal on Kogma, any harass taken will be a huge punishment for this lane. One of the strongest aspects of this lane is their poke, giving them a 10. With Kogma's massive range and Lulu's ability to increase Kogma's damage through her shield passive allows for a lot of early harass. Also, Kogma hits 6. Those artillery shells are quite the poke heavy ability. For kite potential, they receive a 7. Although Kogma may have no escapes, Lulu makes up for it with her amazing peel abilities coming from almost all of her spells. Keeping that slippery ooze monster alive is a key factor that will make or break a game. And finally, this comp receives a huger power spike at level 16, where Kogma reaches his max ability damage potential. Around this time, we can expect a Blade of the Rune King on Kogma and Lost Whisper, which will allow him to shred through even the tankiest enemies. Now let's take a look at a few of these plays. Starting off with our first play, we have Annie Engage onto Kogma. To quickly burst it down due to Lulu's ulti and defensive maneuvers, they're able to quickly turn the tide of battle. They quickly switch onto Annie, and without the use of Lulu's ulti and shield, Kogma would have died otherwise. Wobbling through into the next play, a poorly positioned Kogma is grabbed by a blitz hook. And what seems like sure death for the slimy ally, a quick Lulu ult and shield allow him to take out Graves with an artillery shell, granting him bonus health and mana from masteries. After the Graves kill, the quick switch to blitz allows for the duo to pick up a double kill. Moving into the next play, we have Kogma taking the enemy red buff and then proceeding with his team to siege the bottom lane turret. But to his surprise, an invisible kitty quickly burst down the ADC, but it won't be enough to take him out. Kogma is now zoned from taking the path to help his ally, so he quickly runs around to get to their aid. He is still able to assist with artillery, and as he arrives, they target Annie, but Azonia will stall their efforts. A properly placed ult from Kogma allows for the Annie kill, and then onto the rumble. Dashing forward into the next play, we have a Nautilus attempt to land a hook but fails. Vi takes the opportunity and vault breaks onto Annie while the rest of the team bursts her down. A Rumble and Nautilus ulti split up the allied team so Kogma flashes to position away from Fizz. As the fed Fizz tries to burst down Kogma, a barrier and picks help keep him alive and allow for an artillery to take out the fishy enemy. The team then pushes down mid lane as the low HP Kogma assists his team from afar. For our last play, Kogma flanks the enemy team from behind, picking off Vilkas and then onto Thresh. As a sneaky assassin, AD carry pushes forward, his long range allows for him to acquire a triple kill off Blitzcrank. They move onto the graves, poking him down until Aurelia assassinates the enemy AD carry. Wukong comes in, hoping to take out the purple Lulu, but is brought down before any harm is done. How do those plays look to you? Let us know in the comments below and feel free to submit to us your bot lane plays. Next week we will be taking a look into the Caitlyn and Blitzcrank duo. And feel free to give us a like, share, and or subscribe, but we will see you next time Summers on Bot Lane Synergies. Bye. <laughs> Kog was able to use Lulu Shield passive to oh, I'm, yawning. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> lane relies on something, 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 something. I think I need That's to take glasses. You might. I don't want them. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few examples of this charming but deadly duo. Here we have Draven picking a fight with Graves and Leona. The Trunnel is running away with fatal health, Fiddle comes to assist his lane partner. While Draven dodges Zenith Blade, he runs into the bush to cast his ult. 
With Fiddle's Fear, he's able to land his ult twice, sending Graves to his grave? I guess, whatever. And getting bonus gold from his pass.